Welcome to Reset My Seed 2021, the 23rd of January. God bless you as you join us today. Send out your reminders very quickly. Let's do this quickly. It's only two hours. Maybe sometime it will be four hours, but today is only two hours and it's, it goes really fast. <laughs> Glory be to God. I know some people are already excited. Agatha, when are we going to start the four hour sessions? Just believe mm -hmm. God with me so that we can carry people along. But please make it a point of duty to invite as many people as we can. You know, I can't help carrying this thing in my heart that look, if I can, this is God saying to my heart, if I can get more people to pray and commit to giving their faith to me so that I can work what I want to do in the lives of these children. It's a massive global rescue of children all over the world, rescuing them and returning them to where God has prepared for them, a good place, a wealthy place, a healthy place. <laughs> a place of peace. That is God's design. That's God's plan for all of our children. And as we continue to give him the opportunity to do so, he would continue to pour out his power and his mercies in their direction. Amen. And so that is why we encourage you. Let's do this together. Let's grab more people. Everyone being one. There's hardly any week that they're not at least 200 in, in um, unique um unique logins on this meeting. So if we, if everyone could bring one, then that means that we will blow the lead of the 500 <laughs> target. And so we want, we want to ask, we mm -hmm. want to ask you, you know, especially go out there, grab parents, grab sisters, uncles, aunties. They don't even have to have children. If they're believing God for children, they can pray for their children in advance. That's not so that we can have high numbers. Trust me. It is so that the passion that God has for children will become a reality. Amen. God really, really wants to pour into the next generation. And, and what about us? We want to hand over this baton to the next, to a, a generation that is on fire, a generation that is committed. Amen. And so that is why I want to encourage you. This it's it, you're already doing well, but you can even do better. Let's go for the next level. Let our commitment increase. I mean, imagine we're praying for our children a minimum of two hours every week. We're putting in the word of God in their favor. And the Bible says, take the sword of the spirit. They take the word of God, which is the sword of the spirit. That means you're making war, offensive war on behalf of your children, and you will not, not, not go without a testimony in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I believe that as we continue in this journey, more and more testimonies continue to pour in. I mean, think about the testimonies that come in every week. I want you to be part of that testimony. Send in your testimonies, even, even if you feel that, oh, I don't want to type, just send us a recorded message. We will transcribe it for you. Amen. So thank God for you. And I, I, yes, I am, I am kind of like a town crier at the beginning, but I'm just encouraging us that what you're doing is divine. What you're doing is great. And like I read to you in that scripture in Ephesians chapter five, it says, it, it, King James says, it redeemed the time, the days are evil. But I like the easy read translation. It says many bad things are happening in these days. So whenever you have a chance to do it, do as much as you can. So let's do as much as we can where it comes to praying for our children so that the spirit of God will have the opportunity to use your faith. I mean, you said to me, yeah, if he's God, he can do whatever he likes, but he needs your permission. He needs the permission of somebody who is on earth because the earth has been given to the children of men. And so to reach our children, he needs us. Some says, oh, but, but if he's God, why does he need a human being? He set up that system that way and he's not going back on his word he said on the earth man has authority in heaven i have authority. if i'm coming to do anything in the earth i would seek the permission of man and so god is seeking your permission as a parent as a friend as a as a godmother as a as a friend and as an auntie please oh um, and i notice i keep talking about the feminine gender here this is not a women's meeting, it's for all parents. So as many uncles and daddies, please, we welcome you to these meetings to join us. Let's make power available for our children. After all, it was Jairus that went to get the kingdom of God to, to, to work favorably in his family. So we don't mind more men. Let me 
let me leave that out with the men that are already online. Let's get more men in. Amen. As Amen. much as you can, whenever you have a chance to do it, to do something good, do as much as you can. Hallelujah. So tonight, why don't we start by thanking the Lord in our, as our custom is. Let's bring our sacrifice of praises to the Lord. You find out that your own words are so important in the ears of the Lord. In fact, he's waiting to hear you say, Father, I love you. Father, I appreciate you. Mm-hmm. Father, I, I, I love the way you father me and my children and the children that you have put in my care. You know, I always encourage us, if you can, get a picture of the, picture, the children you are praying for so that they're in front of you while you are praying. Obviously, that's not a doctrine you can just you can it's just something to help your imagination amen so get a picture of them so that as you call their names as as you are as we're taking on those prayer points and when we're calling their names you're looking into the eyes and saying you <laughs> hallelujah you know you you will do what the lord says amen let's lift up our voices and begin to to, to call upon the name of the Lord in worship. The, 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 the songwriter, we bring the song, sacrifice. he said, we will okay. never know how much it costs to put our sins on that cross. We would never know. And may we never know, hallelujah, because we would never be able to pay that price, hallelujah. And that is why we worship the one that paid the price. His name is Jesus. Let's begin to lift up Jesus in worship. Hallelujah. We worship you. We thank you, Lord. Father, Lord, I thank you for this gathering today that we're here again to lift up your voice for our children, Lord God Almighty. But we come into your presence because we have to sing. Father, Lord, we just give you all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father, we just thank you. Bless your holy name, Lord. Bless your holy name, Lord. We will never know. And that is why, Lord, we lift up our voices in adoration to you today. We lift up our voices in gratitude. The, the writer of Hebrews said, by Jesus, let us offer a sacrifice of praise to God, even the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Let's give thanks to the name of the Lord today. Just to remind you that all our recordings are available on YouTube. You can you can go to these recordings during the week and relieve these prayer meetings and allow the power of God to even be made more available to to your children. I'm not hearing people pray. Let's let's pray the spirit, pray the spirit. Yeah, Shigada, <laughs> I encourage you to unmute yourself when I say so, just like now. I encourage you to unmute yourself and lift up your voices and let us worship the Lord. Let us worship the Lord. <laughs> Thank you. 
in the name of the lord jesus father we thank you we bring you our sacrifice of praise we bring you accolade and gratitude for who you are you are our father and you are our children's father thank you because in your goodness you have preserved you have protected you have you have delivered you have healed you have you have gathered us oh god as the apples of your eye and you have kept us hallelujah thank you for your peace in our midst in the name of jesus and we bring you our sacrifice of praises and we say that you alone deserve it from the rising of the sun to the going out of the same we bless your name and we honor you lord thank you for our, our sons and our daughters thank you for our first born second born third born fifth born whatever the numbers are lord for every family represented here we say thank you hallelujah brothers and sisters i want us to pray in a certain way today the bible says in luke chapter 11 verse 22 jesus speaking and i'm going to try and read us some translations jesus said in verse 22 when a when a strong no i'm going to start from 21 he says when a strong man that is armed keeps his palace his goods are in peace but when one that is stronger than him comes he attacks and overpowers him. He takes away the armor in which the so-called strong man trusted and he divides his plunder. Glory be to God. I want us to, to put up an understanding of what Jesus was saying here. I want us to, to put it before our eyes as we pray tonight. Jesus was saying that there is a man in the league of the strong man. And he can he can have uh, his things. He can hold on to the things he stole because he's a thief. He can hold on to the things he stole because he's, he has weapons. He has um, a, a armory with upon which he trusted. So his things are secure with him because nobody has uh, has been able to to overpower him or nobody is stronger than him. He said, but they, but doom comes to that man because one day somebody that is stronger will come. He says in verse twenty. He says when the when someone that is stronger attacks and overpowers him that means the person that is stronger could have been sitting down and not attack and overpower but when that man makes a decision that i am going to attack and i'm going to overpower this so-called strong man the bible says jesus said he that, that the, the stronger man would take away from the take away the armor in which the so-called strong man puts his trust in fact, the easy, easy to read translation says, but someone who may come who is stronger than he is. The stronger man will attack him, beat him. The strong man believes his weapons will keep him safe, but the stronger man will take his weapons away, take the strong man's things and give them to other people. 
Hallelujah. So Jesus was, was trying to, to show us how things work in the realm of spirit, talking about spiritual battle, that there are people that are strong in the realm of spirit, but there are people that are stronger. Hallelujah. And what they do is that they make an effort like you are doing today. They go after the strong man and they plunder the strong man. They disarm the strong man. They overpower the strong man. They bring the strong man to its knees and strip it of everything that it has stolen from the camp of the people. Hallelujah. And that is why as we're praying tonight, that's the picture I want you to have as we're praying for our children tonight, that you and I belong to the league of the stronger man. Hallelujah. Because we are in Christ. We belong to the league of the stronger man. John, first John 4, 4 says that we are of God and greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. So if, if by any chance anything has been taken away from you is because the strong man is at work. And But then because you have the power of the stronger man, we can go after the strong man and dispossess him of our possessions. Amen. So I want you to have that picture as we pray for children for our children tonight regardless of the age of that that child your child maybe you're a grandmother here that your child is already 50 or 60 years old you the, the, the your job as a parent never ends so we, we we covet the prayers of all so that the corporate anointing that the spirit of god has released will work favorably for all of us amen so the first prayer point obviously that we always take in this place is their spiritual journey and as we begin to pray for that spiritual journey as a strong man, there are some things you need to dispossess. As a stronger man, there are some things you need to dispossess that strong man of. And that is the ideologies with which it, he has held down our children. Some of them are yielded to philosophies of men. And that is why in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3, the Bible, Paul talks about pulling down strongholds. You see, we want to begin to pull down the strongholds of lies and fantasies. All the all the thoughts that have been planted in the minds of our children that keeps them from, from coming into a thriving and healthy relationship with the Lord Jesus. Unmute yourself and let's start praying. Take your authority in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that Jesus said in Luke chapter 10, verse 19, Behold, I give you power. He has given us the power that is stronger than the power of the strong man. So we take power. This is ideologies that have been planted in the minds of your children. This army in the name of Jesus. Hold them by name and say in the name of Jesus. Every ideology, police that has come to the kids, your relationship with the Lord Jesus, hey, come after it as the one that is under the staff of the stronger man. I Amen. <laughs> <laughs> 
begin to pray that their hearts will follow the Lord as the deer pants after water, their souls will, will long after the Lord, that they will have a hunger and a thirst for the kingdom of God, for the things of the Lord, that it, it is that they will desire passionately a relationship, a thriving relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And that according to Ephesians chapter one, their eyes of understanding will continually be enlightened as the Lord to enlighten the hearts of your children with revelation knowledge that enables them to even walk closer and closer with the 
Lord. Oh, meet yourself. Let's pray for their spiritual development. That the eyes of the understanding may be continually enlightened. So that they, they may know the hope of their calling. Oh, meet yourself. Let's pray for our children's spiritual journey. we make we make power available matori be sukaraba shidaya ye do 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 sokori madenia goria le Brothers and sisters, this so-called strong man has strategies. Paul said, we are not ignorant of the devices of the devil. He has strategies. And so he has planted himself in different places. He has planted himself in, 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 the, in, 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 the, in the area of, um, of our children's... Uh, he has planted himself in different aspects of their lives. He has planted himself in their, in their desire to, to make progress, to, to have money, especially the young adults. They, you know, they're like, oh, they're too, they're too interested in having money. They're not interested in God. And therefore, the love of money has driven them away from God and driven them into other addictions. So, and and and, and for some for some of our of our children, wrong relationships with the wrong kind of people has driven them away into wrong decisions, like wrong sexuality decisions, like uh, like wrong um, antisocial behaviors, addictions to things like pornography and and uh, sex, uh, perversions in the area of sex in their sex life. You know, I want us to deal with this strong man. He has no right to take away anything that belongs to us. Jesus said, no man can enter into a strong man's ha house, Mark chapter 3, verse 27, and spoil his goods, except he will first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. I know for, that for 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 different people represented in this platform, we have different things, different uh, things that bother our children where it comes to what the strong man is trying to do in their lives. But we are of the order of the stronger man. And so we come against him in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Bible says, even if the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of God will raise a standard against him. And the spirit of God is on the inside of you. And so tonight we want to raise a standard against all the, the addictive behaviors, you know, addiction to substance abuse, addiction to lust, you know, free sex that is common in this generation, addiction to, to uh, sexual perversion, addiction to the love of money, like gambling, gang life, you know, we want to take, a ch a, a take charge against that spirit of the strong man. In fact, this is what the, the psalmist said. The psalmist said, Lord, for in you, I can charge an army 
you know, he, he says, it is in you that I can run through a troop and scale a wall. Every troop that the enemy has, has raised against our children, today we run through them by the help of the Lord. Uh, and NIV says, with your help, Psalm 18 verse 29 says, with your help, I can advance against a troop. With my God, I can scale a wall. What is the wall that is standing up against your child's spiritual journey? What is the troop that is standing up against a thriving relationship with the Lord Jesus in the lives of your children? Call your own children by name and say, in the name of Jesus, I take out the troops that are running against your, your relationship with the Lord Jesus. This goes down in their choices for, for their, their sex life. It goes in, it goes, uh, it, it touches things like, like, like addictions. It touches things like uh, their behaviors. It touches the, the, the decisions that they are making. You want to begin to scatter those things because you are of the order of the stronger man. Unmute yourself. Let's pray. Rako shada yalabo so kamaha togo ni madinya. Rodo domika toto to siketo domika dalia. Yeto ni ego so toko beke shika kaka. Yeto so damaka du dalia. We come against your oh, anti-Christ behavior. Ikato diva dalia. Anti-Christ lifestyle choice. Parado so to mahida. Ademika so tonia hado on some sexuality that has kept our children from answering the call of God, from entering a healthy relationship with the Lord Jesus. Oh, we come against that strong man. That has polluted our children with the spirit of lust. We render its power useless and we release our children. Pray with me, somebody. Somebody. Pray with me, somebody, brother. We bring down the struggles. All the armory of the strong man. We we release our children from drug addiction. We release our children from alcoholism. We release our children, oh, barada seto goriada, from 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 immoral lifestyles, impure behaviors. Ito so godla. We release our children from the spirit of the mammon. Oh, we release our children from the love of money, and we release our children from the gambling lifestyle. Hoka kariada from the gang lifestyle, from the knife crime lifestyle. Oh, we release our children. Marada, we turn them around and we set them on cause for the life of that God has planned for them in the name of the Lord Jesus. Rokosota Bakatu Deniadosika Adekishatadia. 
Bible says, shall the lawful captive be delivered. O Rada Soto Tonya, Indemia do Sokori, Rabba Soto. Indeed, oh, even the captive of the mighty shall be delivered. O Demeto Sokaria Damania, O Rodo Sokabakatu de Bagaru de Kishkada, Adabosco Domi Garodo Soda, Adeni Hado. Go ahead and deliver that child. Roto Sekenia Bara, from the spirit of the world. The Bible says, what is in the world? the lust of the eyes, the pride of life, the cares of this world. What exactly would you need in the world? Nothing, because in the world is all that the devil has to give to man. The Bible says to be a friend of the world is to be an enemy of God. Every soul tie that our children have with the world that is driving them away from a relationship with God. Oh, we cut it off. Matato Rika Sudania. Is somebody on this group that will pray with me concerning the ch our children, setting them free? According to Isaiah 49, he can do me kato degi. We release our children to a healthy relationship with Jesus Christ. We release our children to a healthy relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. So think about every child that is in your care and begin to release them one by one to a healthy relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Release them from whatever you think is troubling them to a healthy relationship with the Lord Jesus. Let your imagination be strong right now. Think about that child, whether it's a boy or a girl, a, man, a lady or a, or a young man. Excuse me. It, it begin to release that child to a health. Excuse me. <sighs> A healthy relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeto San I want you to begin to release that child that has been held with a with an unhealthy relationship with a friend that has kept that child from working with the Lord. I want you to see that child completely released. According to Isaiah 49 verse 25, the Bible says he will contend with those that contend against us and our children will be freed. Oh, see that child free. See that child free. Ah, with your mind's eyes, just, just see that child liberated. And as we begin to pray right now, I want you to begin to pray for those laborers that God has designed for each child. Every child has custom-made 
laborers. Every child has tailor-made laborers by God because he's the God of the harvest and he has the ability and the, and the wherewithal to create the harvesters and divine laborers for every child. And so today I want you to stretch your faith as you pull on the laborers that God has designed for your child. Let's pray for those laborers. Unmute yourself. Let's pray. Father, we ask in the name of Jesus for a release of the laborers. I release, Lord Jesus. They will have a healthy relationship with you in Jesus' name. A healthy relationship with God. Oh, this is particularly important when you have adult children because they probably don't want to listen to you. Maybe the younger ones might listen to you or to, your, to their Sunday school teacher. But right now, especially if you have adult children, you need to release your faith. That every Everywhere that man turns, everywhere that lady turns, every corner, whether it's at work, whether it's in the hotel room, you know, I read, I heard the testimony of somebody who went to work in another city, but happened to be in a hotel uh, lobby with this other guy who happened to be a believer. Glory be to God. And in the course of discussion, just say hello to somebody that you're, you're just meeting for the first time from across the world realizes he's a believer, ch chat, and then this person introduces him to the Lord. He doesn't accept, but because they've exchanged pleasantries and even exchanged contact at some point, hallelujah, this young man then needed to to, to <laughs> needed to get born again. He needed, he needed his life straightened up. So he calls up this guy and he introduces him to Jesus properly. I want you to know that God has planted where all over the world, he has planted laborers for your children. Your job is to by faith, link the two, link your children with the laborers that God has made available or mute yourself and pray in the spirit. We bring about a healthy relationship with our children and their, their, their custom made labor. We release a deploy. We agree with God and we release a deployment of, of, of laborers on behalf of our children. Oh, come on, church, let's pray. Because Jesus said, you are the one that must bind, you are the one that must lose, you are the one that must take authority on the earth. That is why God needs your help. Let God be able to find you useful to him this evening as you release your faith and pull in healthy, custom-made laborers for your children. Somebody says, my children are younger, they may not need all those kind of Begin to speak into their specific journey of, of destiny that divine laborers will flood every corner of your journey of destiny. Call each child by name. I say, on your journey of destiny, I plant healthy divine laborers, the ones that have, have been sent by God to, 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 to channel you and, and, and 
connect you with God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hikarodo sopanyananiadosa. Oh, amuse yourself. Let's pray into their divine destiny. Yeko bakaya damika. No, 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 no.
righteously. Yield to destiny. Glory be to God. Hikato Zoto Baria. Destiny is what God has designed for that particular child. And every child's destiny is glorious. There is no such thing as, oh, this child's destiny is more glorious than the other. No. Every child's destiny is glorious. Every child's destiny is actually a facet of the beauty of God. A facet of the wisdom of God walking on the planet. And so our job is to fan the flame of that destiny today. And we say, Father, in the name of Jesus, open the eyes of our children and awaken them to, to alignment to the hand of God upon their lives, to the destiny that you have mapped out for them. In fact, the psalmist said, sacrifice and offerings, this, do, do I not desire? My eyes has that open my eyes has thou opened, burnt offerings and sin offering has thou not required. Then said I, Lo, this is talking about the Lord Jesus. He says, Lo, I come in the volume of the books. Is it it is written of me? Psalm 40, verse 6 to 8. He says, I have come. It is written of me already in the volume of the books that our children will come to that place where they can be they can begin to align with that destiny. Glory be to God. Soto Brigash Kadanyanda. Oh, I'm talking about the opening of their eyes, the opening of their eyes, the connection that, it, that, that needs to be made so that that child begins to live conscious of destiny. Glory be to God. Unmute yourself as we bring this part of the of the prayers to a close. Roba Santo Comicatia, Robo says i will lift up my eyes to the hills from where does my help come oh every one of us need help with our destiny but where does our help come from our help comes from the lord who made the heavens and they begin to call upon the help of the lord connect with the help of heaven to help your child in the journey of destiny begin to connect with the help of heaven every one of us need help we need helpers of destiny begin to pray concerning helpers of destiny for your child mikosaka ya 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 or meet yourself and call for helpers of destiny from the north from the south from the east and from the west all the helpers that god has planted <laughs> Every point Help us, <laughs> 
all the help that your child needs begin to receive it by faith release it by faith angelic help human help all the kind of help that your children need obviously you are already the, the, on the on the list at uh, top of the list uh, after god it's you you are you are you are a major helper in the life of your child but we are praying that the spirit of god will raise those angelic help and and release it in the direction of our children the bible says that the angels of the lord surround those that fear the lord he karada so tadia kasuda psalm 91 says that he has given his angels charge over us you said to me yeah but if it is already written in the bible then it will come to pass no it is written there so that you can release it by faith and allow it to begin to walk in the lives of your children or mute yourself and begin to call for helpers divine helpers angelic helpers helpers that will announce your children oh father god i call for helpers lord jesus help us for children oh god angelic helpers oh god father god spiritual helpers lord physical helpers lord father help us that will direct them in your path the path you have made for their lives oh god jesus mighty name It was Gamaliel that stepped in and said, you know what? Let's let these people go. He, he didn't know them before. He wasn't, he wasn't tipped by, by, by Peter and John, but when he stood up, and spoke, oh, glory be to God, the, the Peter and John were let go. I want you to begin to call for those influencers and accelerators, destiny accelerators, that, that you will plant them by faith into every path of that child. He may be in his music school, he may be in his football class, What? Ever that, that those actually wherever they, they are, let them begin to connect with your child and bring to, to the table what God has planted in them to bring to your child's life or meet yourself. Let's pray. Destiny help us. We're talking about the announcers, the influencers, and of course, we're also talking about the collaborators, those that are there to say, you know what, we're going to see to it that we bring this thing to pass. Even if you 
even you can't do what we're going to hold up your hand. The errands and the her. The hands of the set in the wall must be one in our favor. So we will not allow you to be tired. And suddenly help us to arise and give you a Good healthy relationship Good healthy network. Begin to begin to sterilize the network, the social network of your children by faith. Begin to delete any unhealthy allegiance that is not in or going well for their destiny. Begin to delete and, and, and remove them in their path, that their social network will be revamped by the Spirit of God so that there'll be a planting of the right kind of people. And remember that your child is also a destiny helper to somebody, but the Holy Ghost knows which one to put where. And so that is why we're trusting the Spirit of God. We're releasing our faith and saying, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we receive the ministry of the Holy Spirit in rearranging the social network of my children because I understand that network is equivalent to your net worth and so we begin to pray in the name of Jesus that the spirit of God would, would, would fulfill his work in connecting our children to the right people at the right time in the right place in leading them into the right allegiances into the right communities in the name of the Lord Jesus he leading them into the right spiritual community as well Re leading them into the right social communities every community they step into that they will be led by the spirit of god let's unmute ourselves and bring that prayer to a close <laughs> oh, God, we thank you lord for all of our children tonight we thank you because your favor is upon our children because the scriptures cannot be broken he said that oh lord will bless the righteous with favor will you compass him as should you compass every child in our care with your favor yes in our mind's eye we can see how favor has condoned condoned our children off of the disfavor in life. Thank you because it is in your favor cocoon that our children live. And therefore every selection process, your favor is working in, in, in their lives. Your divine favor, especially at this time that our, our, our children, some of them are, are going through selection processes for going into secondary school, universities, uh, into work. Lord, every selection process, we declare the favor of God over each child. In the 
the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. To you be all the glory and to you be all the praise in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. And the church said, Amen. 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 Glory, glory, glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 The Lord. Amen. We're praying. Just make sure that you are praying. Hallelujah. Amen. Even if you are muted, make sure that you are praying. Make sure you are declaring the word of God. Amen. If you run out of English, which I do most of the time, just switch to the prayer language of the spirit. If you, if, if that's an issue for you, just send us a, a, a private message. We would help you with that. But praying in the spirit is your is is, is your go to any day because it enables you to pray longer and in the will of God. Amen. Praise God. Yes, we do have one or two announcements for you, and we definitely have one or two testimonies. As for testimonies, I am appealing, special appeal, send us those testimonies. If you don't feel like writing them, send us a voice note. We'll do the transcribing for you, and we would make sure that it's fully anonymous. Thank you so much. Let's listen to the announcer. God bless you. Hello. Where's the announcer? <laughs> thank, thank you very much, Pastor Agatha. Thank you, everyone, for joining today. And uh, we appreciate your being on the call today. If you would like to uh, join our distribution email distribution list and you're not already on the list, please take a moment to post your email address in the chat. Now, thank you to all of you who have um, provided your email addresses. If you have provided your email address and you haven't heard from us, please kindly check your junk or your spam folders. And in some cases, we'll occasionally get um, mail failure. So we think that there might be some spelling errors. So please, um, in those cases, maybe you might want to give us your email address again. So just pop them in the chat now. You can do it publicly in the chat, or if you prefer, you can send it privately to one of them. And um, I'd like to... As you, if you look on your screen now, I'd like to talk about Pray With Me Somebody, which is our telephone prayer line, which is available on the weekends, Saturdays and Sundays from 2 p.m. to 12 midnight UK time. Prayer warriors are on the phone, are, are on hand to agree with you in prayer according to the word of God regarding prayer points that you might have. The telephone number is on the screen, so please take note. Thank you. And also, we want to just remind you about our YouTube channel. Please uh, to make full use of, of that. Take advantage of it. All the recordings of these meetings are posted on our, U on our YouTube channel probably one or two days after the meetings. It is called Prayer Bootcamp for All Nations. You can find it on YouTube if you click on it. And if you click on playlists, you will find um, the recordings for each meeting nicely categorized separately. So you are with all the dates and you'll be able to find whichever prayer with every recording that you are looking for and kindly uh, like subscribe and share we would really appreciate that hello lost you you're muted uh, hello you're muted um can you hear me now yeah, no. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, it wasn't muted on my phone. Not sure what happened there. Okay. Um, okay, so I'll just repeat. Uh, just remember to send us your testimonies. The t email address is on the screen. And we read out these testimonies anonymously to give glory to God, to inspire the faith of others, and to encourage uh, the brethren. So and as, as the meeting goes on, I will be posting other announcements. So you can just check on the screen from time to time to see all our other meetings um, that we are that we we have we have Operation Let My People Go and we have Encounter Night. So as you continue to look on the screen, you will get all the information on those meetings. Thank you very much. And one thing, last thing I wanted to remind you of before I read out the testimonies, please, if you unmute your phone, please be kind enough to keep the volume of your voice lower than the volume of the speaker so that um, the others can hear the prayer instructions uh, that Pastor Agatha has given and also so that we will have a good quality recording at the end of the day. Thank you very much. And so with that, I will just go on to the testimonies and I'll read a couple of the testimonies that we have today. So they're really great ones. Okay. 
So the first one I wanted to read, it goes, I started participating in the weekly Reset My Seed prayer meeting when the pandemic started early in 2020. It has been a source of great strength and encouragement in praying for my children in every area of their lives. My daughter had been lazy and careless about her academics, resulting in her failing out of university. She had resumed her post-secondary education, but was very anxious about her studies. Over the time that I've been joining the weekly prayer meetings, her attitude towards her studies has continued to improve. She has mostly overcome the anxiety and her confidence has soared. She's more responsible and is now a straight A student and has even applied for academic scholarship. All praise and thanks to God who hears and answers, uh, answers prayers. Amen. Okay, I think. And then the next one that I wanted to read uh, goes, uh, one, of, um, one of my major hard cries for a few years, especially from January, January 2020, uh, as the Holy Spirit opened my eyes to areas I needed to pray uh, into for my first son. I started praying that he would be reconciled back to his father and to speak to him, something that he hasn't done in seven years. Well, today he reconciled and spoke to his father, and I'm ever so grateful for that because unforgiveness and malice was doing damage to his emotions. Today he is free. My hallelujah is to God. Glory be to God. And, and, and with that, Pastor Agatha, I'll uh, hand it over to you. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Is somebody out there who's happy to hear these testimonies going on right here? under your, you know, Amen. right here in your presence. These are, these are people that join the prayer meetings and, they, and they're saying that God, God has done Hallelujah. this for them and God is doing yours as well. You are the next one in line to testify. And I believe that, that your testimony will not be delayed. It will not be denied. Let's take a few moments and thank the Lord as we begin to pray into our family relationships. You know, that, that testimony talked about the, the, the son reconciling with his father. And that is a hard cry for me this afternoon. I want this evening, I want us to begin to pray into our family relationships with our children, that there'll be a reconciliation. Some of our children, you know, maybe not yours, but some of our children, have turned their hearts away from their parents. And I want us to pray to recover our children. This is the this is why God has sent us to pray because he wants us to release our faith so that he can cause a reconnection between the parents and the children. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Is there anybody out there who would lift up their voices and say, thank you, Lord, for that testimony? And I reach out in faith for my own testimony in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Mm I can't hear anyone. I seem to be on my own and I don't know if anyone is hearing me. The Lord categorically was speaking about the return of the father's heart to the children. He said he will turn the hearts of the parents to the children. And I and a Parents, <laughs> 
we're not taking this lightly because there are people whose children have basically just left home. Like I always say, left home unceremoniously, left home because they had a disagreement, left home because they feel that, you know what, you guys are really no use to me. I need to find myself another family. For the scripture says that God is the one that decides which family you end up in. He's the one that takes that solitary spouse and puts it in a family. Glory be to God. And so God chose you and chose us and brought us together. So we can't begin to break ourselves up. So some 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 people, some young people, especially, you know, starting especially from that teen age where they feel, oh, you know what, I don't want to have anything with the to do with the home. Or maybe there's been a, a, a bona fide issue in the house that has caused a rift in that relationship. Tonight, let's begin to pray that by the by, by the by the uh the, the ability of the of the Lord Jesus, you know, that it was the blood of Jesus that broke down the wall of petition of partition between us and God, that that blood will come and break down that wall of partition that has been erected in, in every household represented here. Every child ought to be able to point to their father or to their mother or to the person that is like a parent to them. Every one of us want to be connected. I want us to begin to pray that the power of the blood will be, will be effective in connecting our families, but in binding our families families back again and bringing harmony, joy, and peace into our relationships. In the name of Jesus, pray with me somebody. Think about those children who have left home without, without the consent of parents. Some of them are old enough to live alone, but they are not old enough. There's nobody that's old enough to have a broken relationship with their family. We're talking about a connected relationship. It doesn't mean that a 35 year old man needs to come back and live in your house. No, we're talking about a relationship that is reconnected, a relationship that is alive, a relationship that breeds peace and joy and love. That is what we're talking about, that by the spirit of God, that that will begin to be the, the experience of each and every family represented here in the name of Jesus. I'm going to give us a moment to pray in the spirit over that. Let's submit ourselves and pray in the spirit over our relationship, the relationship with our children. It is a good and pleasant day for brethren to dwell together in unity. The strong man, the strong man has raised an allegation against her. Let me just clarify this: the strong man has used that strategy to 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 cut off our children from the supply that comes from being part of a family. That is what that strong man is doing. He's trying to cut off that child. But today, because we are not ignorant of his devices, we cancel every device of the strong man. We disarm the strong man from destroying the relationship that, that we, we ought to have with our children, regardless of how old they are. I mean, many of us on this platform, we're, we're old enough to be called parents, but we still keep in touch with our own parents. We're not living in their houses, but we have a healthy relationship with them. That is what we're after today. That testifier said that that child had not spoken to that man for seven years, regardless of what could be the reason. In fact, there might be a good reason why, but there is no reason that is good enough to not to, to walk out of love. And so we begin to pray and pull down all that the enemy has mounted up against the healthy relationship between parents and children. Let's bring that to the fore and, and pull down every stronghold against the healthy relationship. Unmute yourself. Let's pray into that relationship. That Rogo, 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 Rogo,
the spirit of the prodigal. He cannot do so to me. It's a lying spirit. It's a deceiving spirit. Keep the child and put them away from where they have safety. That he can destroy them. Oh, we come against it in the name of Jesus. We surround our children with the love of God wherever they are. It cannot be pulled on their heart. It cannot be pulled on their heart. We spent our relationship with our children by the blood of Jesus. you know in Luke chapter 15 in that parable Jesus said in verse 17 he said the prodigal son came to to himself. I don't know what who is the prodigal son right now represented in this platform, but I want us to pray that all of our children will come to their selves. That, in other words, they will find their real self, their real connection with their families, and they will stay connected. Pray for that child that has uh, that has disconnected and command a reconnection. Take advantage of the supernatural corporate anointing in this place and reconnect that child to the family. Of each yourself and pray. I speak to you, young man. Return to yourself. Begin to, to, to reason accurately. Return to the family. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, I break the hold and the chains of all that has held you down, that has kept you away from your relationship with your parents. All the soul ties, all the connections that have kept you from relating with your family. I break it today in the name of Jesus. I sever Dabada Dashada, every allegiance that has kept you away from a healthy relationship with the rest of the family. For some children, it is actually a relationship that they just found. They just found this relationship six months ago, and then the family that raised them for 30 years is no, is no more good. Today, we sever every relationship that causes division in the family. Because division is not of God. So we say no to the source of division. The devil is the source of division. So we say no to his planting in that child's heart. In the name of Jesus, every soul tie, every, 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 everything, every kind of chain that has tied that child down, we sever it by the blood of Jesus. Some children have left home because they feel that their parents have disappointed them. They, they can't stand what their parents did or is doing. Oh, you know what? We bring the blood of Jesus to bring about the healing and the restoration that needs to be done. Oh, come on, pray for these children. So that they'll be restored to a healthy relationship with their family. Jesus said that the prodigal son, he woke up one day, he came to his own self. In other words, something happened in the spirit and he woke up. Oh, come and pray for that child in the spirit and say that there be an awakening. The child might just be sitting in a library and thinking and then something happens on the inside of him. I'm expecting a testimony like that. And the child will testify and say, something happened. Somehow there was a snap 
in my brain and I just remembered who come on let's unmute ourselves and begin to call our children back home you say my own children are at home what about the children of both that are not so let to call them back home send out the fishing line bring back our children in the name of Jesus Jesus said that the prodigal son, he came to his own self. And after he came to himself, he then arose. He says, I will arise. Oh, begin to pray that the will to arise will be strong in that child. I'm so passionate about the relationship with the family this evening. Let's pray and bring the family together. Some children have not called home in a year. Some children have not called home. Parents are worried. I want you to begin to call for them. For, and, uh, for the power of the Holy Spirit to strengthen that child to come to a place of making that intelligent decision. Rise up and reconnect with your family. Or meet yourselves. Let's pray. Oh, it doesn't matter if it's not your child. Let's pray. Let's pray. We make power available for all of our children to maintain a healthy bond with your family. relationship still on the relationship within the family, I want you to pray that our children would not be yielded to the spirit of rebellion. And then no children who are so rude, so defiant, just difficult to manage by their parents. I want you to begin to pray that the spirit of God will gain access to these children. Oh, for we're not ignorant of the devices of the devil. We, we, we want to pray that the Spirit of God gains access to these children so that they begin to walk in harmony with their parental authority, especially those ones that are still at home, that they begin to walk in harmony with parental authority, that children will honor their parents. In Talabasoto de Mehatia Kodika Yaya, Yedo Sodakiria Danuda, we come against the priests of the power of the air that teaches disobedience Ephesians 2 2 it is the prince of the power of the air that causes disobedience and so we, we we come against him in the name of Jesus and we release the power of the Holy Spirit on behalf of our children to bring them from defiance into a healthy relationship with their parents a healthy relationship with constituted authority in the name of Jesus yet to so kabaka dunia, we uproot the seed of rebellion. E katata talia dosoto, e paradosoto bragashkada. We uproot rebellion of every kind from the hearts, iko kakaya, from the mind and the thoughts of our children. And we declare that the spirit of, of God, the one that is obedient, e karode setoria, 
or, or gains access, gains expression in their lives in the name of Jesus. Masato ke makashi daria do sada eberia da sato ko bakasha daya la bukiria rege be demeri do satania huda rege geli to soto to to tigara raboshki daria rege soto to rebasha daria barude se demi kadoria. We declare a healthy family relationship for everyone represented here. Oh, come on, healthy family relationship, healthy family relationship. Oh, is it just my family that needs it? Let's unmute ourselves and pray. Healthy family relationship. Oh, my healthy family relationship. Among the siblings, between the children and parents. Healthy family relationship. We block every access of the manipulator, of the divider. We pronounce it in our homes, in our families. We say healthy family relationships. Yeto saka ila posto tokiya, rege bi ta 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 ni aposiga. Deke ke to ya da masina. Yeto bolo domi kato dori baza. Rogo soko so ipato kebi ala bruto go. Ebre de 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 di ada bruto so rege se to to healthy family relationships. Ikara da soto to e yere be di kara da soda. Heke he yuko natano ike ni moshina kaka ya dosa. Se to to brigada baria da soda. Heke riba gasoda. E talu se te ya basoda. E talu basoda. E bre de di ada. Heke ni da soto to. Raba she de ni. E to da soto to. La brada ya di bagashada. We restore joy, health, joy, We restore in every home. We are able don't be one of those that says oh sibling rivalry is okay it's not okay nip it in the bud say no in the name of jesus i declare healthy love relationship yes you can have a bit of a banter but no you cannot carry on with it i declare an end to every family feud in the name of jesus i declare an end to every sibling rivalry in every family represented here in the name of jesus i declare an end to any kind of disharmony or in every household in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah and tonight in agreement with the rest of the family here, we call forth for a return home of every child that has left home unceremoniously in the name of Jesus. We call forth for a supernatural reconnection with every child that has left or detached from the family unceremoniously in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. In Patose di Cariada Soda, the Bible tells us concerning Solomon that he honored his heart his mother. And so we pray for every child that there be a desire to honor their parents according to Ephesians chapter, uh, Ephesians chapter 6. 
Yeah, if you just have, it says honor your parents. It says um, children honor your parents in so that it may be well with you, so that you, it may be well with you. It's the first commandment with a promise that you may live long, that you may live long. Honor your father and your mother. We bring every child into under the tutelage of the Holy Spirit. According to Isaiah chapter 54, verse 13, says our children will be taught of the Lord and great will be their peace. We say that you will be taught of the Lord. You will be taught to live in harmony with your family in the name of the Lord Jesus. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. And to begin to release your faith concerning the health, health physical health, mental health of that child. Begin to release your faith and say, Lord, thank you for you. Send Jesus to the cross. According to 1 Peter 2, 2, 24, he says that by the stripes of Jesus, we were healed because already Jesus bore in his body all sin so that we be dead to sin by being alive unto God. That he, and then Therefore, we decree health to every child represented here. I don't care the nature of the sickness. Jesus' is power is stronger than any sickness. It's stronger than any diagnosis. Whether it's diagnosed or not, we command sickness to cease in this assignment against our children. In the name of Jesus, omit yourself and begin to declare healing on the, over the lives of your children. Declare the healing power of God to walk in their body, their minds, walk in their tissues, walk in the Cells of their bodies walk in the bodies of their lives in the name of Jesus. Ibarodos of Sodia, Ibarodosoda, Ibarodosoda, Somebody says yes, but if they brought the sickness to them, Themselves. Should they not go through it? No, they should not go through it. No way. We rebuke sickness of any shame, form, or kind, whether they brought it upon themselves or not. We plead the mercies of God and we declare, we declare an end to the sickness in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I heard somebody say that and I just saw uh, pick it up. Speak to that child's body, speak to their minds, speak to their intellect, speak to, 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 to their abilities to speak right. Uh, somebody's speech is in is is being impaired i want you to speak uh, speak to that child and say in the name of jesus i command speech impairment to cease from your life in jesus name sickness is an assignment of the devil to buffet man to harass human beings uh, but jesus came so that we may be made whole jesus's blood was shed jesus's body was broken so that ours would not be broken and so we take a stand on behalf of our children and we drive sickness out of the bodies of our children. I mean, this is the era when everybody's talking about the pandemic. So take a stand and say, no COVID in my children. You say, can you do that? Yes, I can. Because I, I have the authority to stand against all of the works of the devil. Jesus said in Luke 19, I have given you authority to tread upon serpents and scorpions. So every serpent and scorpion of COVID or the likes of it, cancer, uh, uh, ADHD, whatever labels they have put on that child, oh, begin to drown it. Begin to rip it off of that child's life in the name of Jesus. Let's submit ourselves and speak to our children's body, speak to their bodies, speak to their organs, speak to their cells, speak to their bodies. 
don't just glide over it call the sickness by name and say today i evict you from the life of my son from the life of my daughter i evict you from their bodies from their minds every kind of ailment whether diagnosed or not whether major or minor i drive you out from their bodies in the name of the lord jesus i drive out every form of of, of arthritis that seek to to cripple the body of that child i don't know what arthritis will be doing with the little child but hey the devil is a liar we crumble it in the name of the lord jesus oh we crumble every sickness of the mind mental sicknesses autistic diagnosis oh we rip you off from the bodies and the minds of our children breathing breathing ailments i uproot you in the name of jesus from the from the breathing of our children and i render you useless i render you null and void i declare you oh digoranda sotaka completely destroyed he corrida sada and i release the same spirit that raised jesus from the dead oh gidia gasada to begin to minister the life of god into the mortal bodies of our children into their minds into their mental asset rota sakaria riporia da sotaki kalado shada oh speak to your own child and say in the name of jesus i command your kidneys to function right i command your liver to function right i command your ankle to carry your body in the name of jesus somebody's child had an ankle uh, uh something to do with the ankle maybe maybe the, it plays football or whatever begin to speak to that ankle and say in the name of jesus it is not all right to treat it as oh it's not a big deal oh i rebuke every ankle dislocation in the name of jesus ankle res be restored to healthy functioning in the name of jesus their bodies were made by by God, the Bible says, a body you have made for me. It was made by God to, to carry out his purposes on the earth, not to be ravaged by sicknesses and diseases. No, every everything that is going on in their bodies that is not giving them peace, not giving them joy, is not planted by God. And Jesus said in Matthew chapter 13, verse 15, everything that my father has not planted must be uprooted. So we come in as agents of, of heaven, God's law enforcement agent, and we uproot all that is not a planting of God. Amuse yourself and speak to your child's body. Rados ke te kiri ya do sikata. Je koto bakata dubi ya da. Sante di mosto shunta yena sakande di bobo. Sante di mosto kiri ya da. Roko si koto kiri ya da. Le makazande di mosto shunta yena. Soto di ya katukara. Roko soto to diga. Roko se se shunta yena do sikata. Roko se pato. Malikazande di mosto. Malikazande. Rego so chama is asking oh what if he had the sickness from birth that is an interference of the law of sin and death that has it has interfered with that child's uh, body even from birth oh and, and that doesn't make it from god okay the fact that the child is experiencing that ailment from birth does not make it from god you can still rebuke it and command it to, to leave your child's body leave your child's life and then are there not people that jesus healed who 
had problems from birth. Jesus healed the blind man. He was born blind. His sight was interfered with by the law of sin and death from birth. He was born into a sinful world. So there was an interference to his body. And, and But then Jesus came and removed the interference. And the Bible says, Jesus said, as the father has sent me, so I send you. So go ahead and remove that interference. He said to me, Agatha, you don't understand. This is an ongoing lifetime thing. Now you have labeled it. I refuse to label it that way. I say that it is, it is an interference from hell and I will continue to mount pressure against it until it lets go of my child. Glory be to God. So continue to have the right attitude when you are dealing with sickness and disease. It is not of God. Jesus is the one that removes sickness. The devil is the one that plants it. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank God for the life of your children. Why don't you begin to pray and say, Lord, thank you for their intelligence. Thank you because you've given them healthy intelligence. The Bible says there's a spirit in man. The inspiration of the Almighty gives him understanding. Thank God for the, for the intelligence of your children so that their academic life is one that it's a testimony. You know, we've had a lot of testimonies of academics in this place because God revives intelligence. God, God, God is able to inject the life, his life into the intelligence of that child so that they begin to perform much better than they ever were. So it says, yeah, but my child is so far behind i'm not sure they can make it all the way to the top we just heard it in the testimony that this young woman or young girl whatever age she was you know she, she, she wasn't too serious but by the hand of god there's been a turnaround and i know that your child will not be denied that turnaround in the name of jesus why don't you unmute yourself and pray over your child's education their attitude to work their attitude to their, to, to, to their, to their education that they will have a healthy attitude so that my to decree the grades there move move them to the next grade you know the grade that you want your child to move to begin to move them by faith into that next grade that their heart would attract understanding oh matataria that, that they will be of quick understanding like the bible says about jesus in a, in a, in isaiah 11 uh, verse 3 it says that he, the spirit of god shall make him of quick understanding and if he will do it for jesus he will do it for your children so we ask that for the spirit of god to 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 make our children of quick understanding that they'll be able to receive knowledge they'll be able to retain knowledge and they'll be able to reproduce that same knowledge upon demand whether it is in a test or in 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 in, in a, their daily living that the knowledge that they are receiving they'll be able to 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 understand it and retain it and then reproduce it upon demand especially at the exams that they'll be able to reproduce the answer that is needed to give them the high grades and that the spirit of God will help them to have the right attitude to work, that they will have a finisher's attitude to work, that they will not be so keen to play that they do not work at all. The scripture says, if you do not work, don't think about eating. And so we, we want to begin to pray that our children will have a healthier attitude to work, that they will have a, a healthy balance of work and play. Many of us need to do that. We need to pray that kind of prayer because this is a generation of play. Children just think that things show up because they don't know, they don't know the hard work that goes into providing providing for them. And so we want to begin to pray that the Spirit of God will have that relationship with our children that enables them to make the right choices, that they will get up and prepare, they'll get up and study, they'll get up, they will play, but they will they will manage a good balance of work and play. Oh, why don't you pray for your child for one minute over that? Roto sadia boshika kakala. Omit yourselves, let's pray for these children. Ito sakiria 
other than to disobey God's protocol for marriage. Let's pray for our children that they will not be given to this uh, horrible, horrible uh, plan of the Antichrist. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for our children. We declare that the mission of the Antichrist will not prosper in the lives of our children. In the name of Jesus, we come against the Antichrist in his plans to forbid our children from marrying, to forbid them from eating foods that they have given thanks for. In the name of Jesus, we release the power of the Spirit of God against the Spirit of the age. It is the Spirit of the age that is responsible for children not believing in marriage anymore, yet using their bodies for sex at any point in time. It is the Spirit of the age, and we come against that, that mindset. In the name of Jesus, we uproot it. We say it will not find root in, our, in the lives of our children. In the name of Jesus, it is the spirit of the age that doesn't care about morality. The spirit of the age says, if you feel, if it feels good, do it. It is the spirit of the age that says, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks, as long as you feel okay with it. So if you feel okay, you just throw yourself from one bed to the other. No, we come against that plan. We come against that plan that it will not hatch in any child represented here in the name of Jesus. Pray for that. Pray, pray for your own children. Let's unmute ourselves and pray for our children. That the plan of the spirit of the age. It is the spirit of the age that will say, it doesn't matter what my parents say, I'll just marry you anyway. No, 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 no. We destroy that mindset in the name of Jesus. How is it that a young, a, a young man meets a young woman in, 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 and in just a month, that, that, that man or woman is able to, to pull that child away from a healthy family that they've been growing up in. No, no, no. That is the spirit of Jezebel, whether it is a man or a woman. That is the Jezebel and the manipulator and the witchcraft spirit, whatever you want to call it. It is not of God. And therefore, we declare it. We declare its work null and void where our children are concerned. Oh, we set up every single young woman, especially the young adults, every young woman, every young man represented here. We set them up for healthy lifetime relationships that lead to marriage in the name of Jesus. We declare that our sons will marry our daughters in the name of Jesus. The members of the household of God will marry members of the household of God. Remember what happened to Samson. Samson went outside the covenant and then he bought himself trouble. Today, I want you to pray for every child in the next 60 seconds that, that we have. Pray for every child that they come into healthy marital spirit led relationships in the name of Jesus. Ah, we uproot every relationship that is not led by the Spirit of God. No matter how far God we pull it apart, I will say, No, we set you free from the bondage waiting for you in the name of Jesus. Some of some of our children are already in relationships that are more or less bondage. They can't talk to their parents. They can't talk to their family. They, 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 are, they are in bondages. Oh, begin to break every cult relationship. Relationships that are, marriages that are like cults. Relationships that are like cults. They can't relate to the third party. That is a cult. Just break it in the name of Jesus and we declare that by the life of God, our children come into healthy, healthy marriage relationships that bring them closer and closer to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Let's thank the Lord tonight as we bring our prayers to a close. You can carry on that prayer point in your own closet. A healthy marital relationship for all of our children that their eyes will open. They will meet hell. They will meet the right person. They will they will tango with the right person. They will, they will form uh, allegiances with the right person. They will not marry their enemies in the name of Jesus. They will not even enter dating relationships with people who will, who will drain their destiny. 
destiny in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord. It is in you we live, we move, and have a be. Let's unmute ourselves and begin to thank God for tonight. You have done it again. You have yielded yourself. Thank you, Jesus. 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 communion emblems hallelujah matoria the seeker joshua said as for me and my household we will serve the lord hallelujah as for me and my house we will serve the lord and as we partake of communion tonight we declare that as for me and my children we will serve the lord hallelujah glory be to god jesus our passover lamb has already been crucified for us his blood has been shed his body has already been broken and as we celebrate the communion this evening we say that all of the power of the broken body of Christ becomes our own, becomes that of our children in the name of Jesus. All of the power of the blood of Jesus. Oh, the one that wipes away and drives away all that is not of God. It becomes the portion of our children in the name of Jesus. Tonight by the blood, we destroy every relationship that tears our children away from a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. We destroy it by the, by the blood in the name of Jesus. Every relationship that is, a, that is an expression of an unhealthy, unwholesome, anti-Christ sexual, uh, sexuality, we destroy it in the name of Jesus. Every mindset that does not represent the kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ, we destroy it where our children are concerned in the name of the Lord Jesus. As we partake of this communion table, we say, so be it. Oh, some of us need to turn the backs of our children to the backs of those friends that are pulling them away. And as we speak over this communion, we say we turn the backs of our children to the backs of those friends or allegiances that are turning them away from the Lord, turning them away from a healthy relationship with the family. We say we turn their backs, we say back to back and walk away from one another. Now, in Jesus' precious name, Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Somebody. Rado Soto Bayala Bashanda. Ekekekekeria. Enjoy your communion. Ika dogiria da sutaya. Ipa rodo sikariada. In the name of of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory, 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 glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I decree over your children. Hallelujah. I decree that your children will continue to come from our testimonies. Testimonies. Testimonies that continue to be your portion. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. in Jesus amen. precious name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. amen and amen. Praise God.